Hello everyone! So for this video, I kind of want to give an introduction to this sort of kind of like a series where I just look better at releases from my original review and sort of give my thoughts on it. Anytime I have the opportunity to do this in Burst, uh, I will do it. I'll probably give some fancy name like a relook or something. I'll make a new playlist for it eventually. But uh, we're going to be taking a look at Buster Excalibur. So this was a release during Cho Z. Now the reason why we're doing this, um, well first of all it's for one reason, but also because I want to take a look at the bay. It's because our store has had some pretty good deals recently bundling a free Buster Excalibur, depending if you go in those specific orders where it says it. And honestly, like our shop is pretty good. Like for starters, uh, we don't lie about our stock, unlike some people. And we always have satisfied customers. Like, look at this one. Hey guys, I bought from Zanky's store, and I gotta say, it's pretty good. You should go you should check check it out, please, please. Check it out, please. So, with the release of Buster, <laughs> so with the release of Buster Excalibur. The main uh, thing that people focused on was the fact that it was Xavier that owned this release. So this release came with a new disc, which was one dash, and a new performance tip, which was sword. And it came with two modes. Now the unfortunate thing with Buster is that, uh, well, the two modes worked, but it never really locked in properly. And the issue with some molds, which is probably the same with this one, but it's still, it's still cool. Uh, was basically that sometimes it would just eventually get too loose, right? And obviously I have upgraded it by giving it a level chip and I gave it the dagger frame. Now the dagger frame was in this uh, three pack and the whole idea was like the Excalibur thing where basically if it aligns perfectly when it gets to the middle, it was supposed to do like, it aligns with the sword tip and everything. I figured let's go over each of the parts and after that we're going to just, uh, you know, battle against new releases and stuff. All right, either way, uh, Excalibur without the level chip on it was weighing a total of about 19.51 grams. It was very cool and obviously, if I put the level chip on here, we get it to 20.19. The reason why I chose for the level chip, aside from the fact that I feel it will perform better, is also because this is how it is normally, right? So we can just see. When you hit its, what is it, breaker mode, buster mode, the sword is like this, and basically it's gonna be like hanging out when it spins. So obviously it's supposed to have like crazy attack. It wasn't really the craziest in my own opinion. I feel like they made the sword parts too round, which actually, don't know if it's on the white one, or I think it's on the white one specific. All I know is they kind of made it, I think it's on the white one, you can kind of see that uh, they did make it a little bit sharper, I'm pretty sure, or it might have been the orange one. Am I thinking of the orange one? Either way. Uh, the teeth on it actually were good. It did have some good teeth, which is obviously a good thing, because if it had weak teeth, it would kind of suck, wouldn't it? Uh, the teeth on it, just to show. Honestly, this was one of my favorite ones. I didn't really care who owned it. I do love the Excalibur thing. It's essentially just a cool sword. Well, the funny thing is, is that before it was just a sword, and then after it was like a Gundam holding a sword, basically. Uh, but, yeah. As far as my thoughts on the whole dash thing, where they basically kind of evolved the discs, I thought it was kind of alright. Basically, the idea is that it's since it's the evolved version of one, it's kind of supposed to be pushing to that center point there. So that's like the main focus, so obviously, I guess it would make sense that you have it aligned with the sword, in theory, for the attack power. I suppose if you had it something like this, it would kind of remind you of sort of convert in a way. That's how the mode works. Obviously, once you have it with the dagger frame, there you go. And then after, the sword performance tip. I don't like it. Uh, the reason why I don't like it is just that um, I honestly prefer, uh, prefer iron. Now obviously it has like these little swords and everything. It's a pretty cool theory. Honestly, it's just a, a jaggy shaped uh, iron. And I would have liked it if it was just that. Uh, I don't know. I really wish they did iron dash. I, I'd be okay with sword dash, but uh, yeah, overall, once you get it with all the fancy stuff, you do get it to about 54.57. 
which honestly, it's not even that bad. Let me get a sparking release. How much does this weigh? 60, dear God. Okay, so the weight at the top, let me get this Fafnir combo. Yeah, okay, so yeah, Chosy stuff is pretty close to it. So I do got some nice stuff for this to go up against. Yeah, let's do a test launch. So let me try to do normal. So yeah, normal, obviously it's gonna be pretty stable. And the sword went out. Yeah, so you can already see the issue. So obviously, when it's normal, it'll be fine. When the sword is out, it's unstable. So yeah, the swords, really the two modes don't really work on the thing. It doesn't really matter. Uh, I wanna throw it up against some stuff just for the fun of it now. Let's do it against uh, Leviathan. Nice. By the way, this is Aqua Leviathan, 10 Axe Zephyr, which is just El Drago, but it's the Korean version. I think, honestly, it was a cool release, and I feel really sad that it's gonna be now so many years since they actually did evolve it. And I feel the issue with Excalibur is that unless you fuse the chip with whatever the base or the ring or the core and the blade is, like, it doesn't work. Like, I don't think, I don't think they can really do another, which sucks, but it makes me appreciate it more. Did this have good teeth? Am I, am I wrong? It clicks well, it clicks well. It's probably just that, well, it has okay, it has okay teeth. It has okay teeth. All right, let me correct that, it has okay teeth. On a dash, it should feel good. Let me, let me slap this on a dash. The teeth are not bad at all. Yeah, on a dash, this is like nice. Yeah, normal, it's fine. On a dash, it's a little bit nicer. All right, you're done. All right, I will do one round per bay unless I like to do another medio. It, it can't do anything against Meteo. Oh, that's not... Bro, that's not fair. <laughs> it, it, it cheated! It, I hit it and then... Uh, but, but I... Whatever. Honestly, it was sick. Oh, yeah, Galaxy. Galaxy trembles at Excalibur. Huh? Oh, well, never mind. I actually, yo. I'm actually enjoying this one. Honestly, who hates Buster Excalibur? Come on, it's it's just too cool. It's a sword man. <laughs> it's a sword man, the man of swords. All right, let's do it against a DB Bay. Uh, can you please bully Cyclone? It's too Cyclone's too good. It's too strong. 
see, this is where this would have been the part I, I bring out like iron, iron or like iron dash or or sword dash. They actually made it. Well, this thing goes crazy. And honestly, I liked Xavier in the anime. I thought he was cool, and I liked it too when uh, Xander borrowed his bear and Zaka. I will make it win. I will make it win against a good one. Yeah, dude, it, it, it tanks the hits, though. Let me know your thoughts on the comments. Did you like uh, Xavier? 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 What I remember is, like, he was a rich boy. He had that wealth. And I think that was about it. I don't really remember anything else. He had some cool moves and stuff, I guess. All right, let's do it against Gravity Perseus because Excalibur and Team Excalibur. I, I, if I don't do it, I won't forgive myself in this video. In truth, this video is just an excuse to, to do a video with one of my favorite shows, eBay's. I just don't timestamp it so people don't find out why. All right, let's make a battle against Rage. Dear God, if it somehow wins. Oh, we're back. Can he beat Lane? Bro, come on, lose for the end. No, beat lose for the end. Beat it. Beat it good. Yo, the plot's too strong on this. No. No. Wow, it actually almost, it forced Lucifer into a halfway limit break. All right. Uh, what we got? So the death, sil demise, silly man. Listen, I love this release and I will make it win. Ah. Perfect, vanish. This is not going to work, is it? Please work. Okay. Where are you? Dead Phoenix. Dead Phoenix. That was almost a dub until it knocked off the, uh... Who do I got? I'm gonna pick you, 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 and you. And you. All right. World spriggin' everybody. Only right rotation, because I'm confident in this win. Dude, we're gonna get one good win in this. Okay, hollow. Yeah, it's got a good chance. Have you seen its stamina? Bruh. That's it. Now you've made me mad. I'm about to beat hollow that. I'm at least beating hollow in this video. All right. I am not. You, you're next. All right, Infinite Achilles. I'm beating one good bay in this video. Honestly, it was it was a cool air though. It was a cool air. Like as much as I'll probably lose this, it, you know, it was it was cool. Okay, that's it. Last two are dynamite bays. Cyclone. 
All right, finish it off. It's okay, down in my belly, y'all. This is our last chance in the video. Is it? No, I want to do brave at the end. All right, second last chance. All right, by a miracle, we're going to defeat Brave. Excalibur! All right, if this counts, uh, it is better than Brave Valkyrie uh, in every possible way. Um, Bolt fans deal with it. It's awesome, man, it's awesome. I can see why, though, I can see why, though. All right, whatever. All right, here's at the end where I try to give some combos to try to push this bay to have some more use. Is there any way to make this meta relevant? No. But is there fun combos you can try out to really make this go crazy? Uh, you could try discs like, well, I'm gonna try to think of what specific discs. Obviously not Dynamite Battle discs. Uh, I could think Stinger Blitz would be pretty good. I'm thinking maybe Charge Dash, Exceed Dash, Evolution Dash, Destroy Dash, uh, maybe Jolt Dash if you want. If you want to experiment, maybe Dimension Dash. But yeah, uh, I love this release. Uh, thank you for watching. What may do you want me to see do a re-review of next and go over? And thank you for watching.